Good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining us for this morning's webinar, the top five blow your mind features of Tailwind transportation software. Today's presentation will take about 25 minutes, which should leave us about five, 10 minutes at the end for questions. As questions do come to you, please send them using the chat functionality. And if there are any that we can't get to, we'll be in touch right after the webinar. We'll also be sending out a recording of this webinar to all of you following the event. As I know your time is limited, I won't take up too much more, and we'll just take a few seconds to introduce Tailwind and Linda Clare. Tailwind is a comprehensive transportation management system that helps you run your freight business efficiently and effectively. Our goal is to help those running trucking companies and freight brokerages improve their profit, increase their cash flow, and give them a bit more time at the end of their day. And Linda Clare, well, with over 40 years of experience, Linda regularly blows our minds with everything she knows about transportation. She's been a dispatcher, a compliance officer, a controller, as well as a power skating instructor for the National Hockey League. And, you know, those players aren't nearly as tough as you trucking folks. And with that, I'll turn the presentation over to Linda. <laughs> Thanks so much, Brad. That power skating was well in my past. Anyway, thanks so much for joining us today. As the training and implementation coordinator for Tailwind, I help many of our clients implement and adopt our TMS within their operations. I started in the transportation industry in 72, working in all facets of transportation, from warehousing to container ships to import export, and then I settled in trucking, working as a dispatcher, compliance officer, and controller, receiving my degree in transportation from BCIT in 1987. While I have used lots of various software in my career, Tailwind TMS was always one of my favorites. So when the opportunity came for me to work for Tailwind, I leapt at the chance. Today, I'm going to highlight five features of our software that I think will impress you. I wouldn't necessarily say blow your mind, but Brad with his marketing socks on, like the pizzazz of that statement. Thanks, Brad. You're very welcome, Linda. <laughs> Thank you. Five features, auto payable, pay wizards, rate histories, tailwind SMS and POD complete, and multi-tabbed capabilities. Let's get started with auto payables. Tailwind users love Tailwind's auto payables as it eliminates the need for all those Excel spreadsheets. You know, the ones you have to put together to determine what you are paying to your company drivers, owner operators, and any commission staff. The Tailwind auto payables feature automatically determines expenses associated to a dispatch or order. Automatic payables allow you to define circumstances in which Tailwind will automatically create payables for your personnel. Whether it is a sales rep or a dispatcher earning a commission on every order or dispatch, or a company driver being paid by the mile, by the hour, or for picks and drops, even revenue splitting with owner operators. Using automatic payables can guarantee that payables are assigned consistently throughout the system and save you a great deal of time. Once the auto payable is set up on the personnel or vendor record, the system will create the bills, determining the pay when a driver or owner operator is assigned to a dispatcher sales rep is set on an order. Let's go and have a look at some examples in my demo database. So when you get to set up your database, you have the ability to categorize your revenue and expense items, setting up those items that you will use for auto payables. I'm just going to show you a couple of personnel that I've already set up with auto payables. So here, Georgia Green, who happens to be a company driver for me, I have set her with an auto payable of 50 cents per mile. Let's look at one other one. I'm going to go to my sales rep, John John. So John John is an account manager, a sales rep in my database, and he receives 10% commission on the revenue of every order that he has set as the sales rep or, or account rep on. Now let's go and have a look at these at work. 
I'm going to go to a dispatch that Georgia is dispatched on. So here on my dispatch board, I can see my trip number is 211. My company truck is 200, and it just happens to be driven by Georgia Green. When I open this dispatch up, I can see the miles are populated here for me to go from Portland to Ontario, California. It's 997 miles. And down here in the expense area, I get to see those automatic payables automatically populating for me. Here, Georgia Green is set up at 50 cents per mile, so the software is doing just that. It's taking the miles from the dispatch and creating a payable for Georgia. As well, we saw the ability to see those automatic payables for John John, those commission staff that you have on board. Those payables will automatically be determined for you. You will always be able to see your revenue, expenses, showing the margin on the load that you're presently moving. Great, back to you, Brad. So, with auto payables, your bills from company drivers, owner operators, and commission staff flow through the software from the dispatch and operations areas over to the administration area. And once they are audited, they will also flow to our personnel pay wizard and owner operator pay wizard, <clears throat> which leads me right into the second item I want to highlight for you today, our pay wizard. As my Harry Potter loving granddaughter say, nothing like a little bit of wizardry to make your day. We actually developed this feature a few months after we launched the Tailwind web application. Our customers asked for it and we slotted it into our development path. That is truly one of the key benefits of being web-based and offering software as a service. We are able to continuously improve the software at a quicker pace than other companies that are using client server. That, and you don't have to pay for any custom programming fees. On the admin side, we have two pay wizards. One for company personnel, drivers or salespeople, commission dispatchers, and one for any owner operators you have signed up with you. It is here that all bills payable to your personnel and owner ops will gather, and you have the ability to create comprehensive pay settlement statements. The software allows you to create deductions or pay bonuses, as well as account for mid-month draws or cash advances, which I know can cause a lot of rework and back and forth with drivers for the company admin people. Let's have a look at a pay settlement for both company driver and an owner operator. So let's navigate down to those pay wizards. They're under the administration, personnel pay wizard, and owner operator pay wizard. Within the pay wizard, you have the ability to choose the date you want all trips included up to, and when you choose the owner operator that you're working on, all of the details will populate here. Any bills showing what you're paying, any deductions that you might make for fuel or prorate charges, IRP, anything along those licensing costs that you have to do with your owner operators, they can all be set up through deductions and mid-month draws can be handled as well. I populated a couple of pay statements for us to take away some time. So here is a pay statement from Monty Shoemaker. Your logo, your company information will appear here, enabling you to brand your reports in the software. And then of course it will give that trip number out to your owner operator, where he went from and to, the fact that he's receiving 75% of $6,200. It will list every trip that Monty has done for you within the period selected. It will also show deductions. So I'm charging Monty for some fuel, a mid-month draw, prorate, and some hourly pay. Then you will, of course, get that payable summary and the net total payable out to Monty. Let's look at a company driver statement. Commission sales reps are exactly like this as well. Again, it simply shows the related order or trip that you're paying on, the details of that particular order, and the fact that Georgia is getting paid 915 miles at five cents a mile. Again, a summary showing any deductions. I charge Georgia a seatbelt fine that I paid on her behalf. And then, of course, that payable summary. So there's our 
pay wizards, and I'm sure you can see how this can speed up and optimize the key and the entry of key payment information into your system. Now, I believe Brad has a poll question for us. I do indeed. Um, our first poll question is a bit of a warm up. We simply want to know who our audience feels is the best wizard Harry Potter, Merlin, or Tailwind Pay Wizards? <laughs> That's a funny question, Brad. <laughs> oh, there's, wow, there, there's, oh, no, it, one is catching up to the other. This is exciting. We got, <laughs> um, just over 60% voted, so just give a couple more seconds here to let people uh, get their get their votes in. I, of course, am voting for the Tailwind Pay Wizard. <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to influence it like that, Linda. Gee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Looks like most people have got their uh, their votes in. So let's close that, and I'll share the results with everyone. Yeah. So it looks like, you know, the Tailwind Pay Wizard is where most people are, are putting their money, which, you know, kind of makes sense given the fact that that's probably where <laughs> they are indeed putting a lot of their money. <laughs> but Harry Harry Potter and Merlin, you know, they're 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 coming in there as well. They're yeah. In as well. <laughs> uh, thanks so much, Brad. <laughs> now that we've seen a couple of ways that the software can automate payments to personnel and owner ops and how the software keeps everything organized for you. Let's have a look at how Tailwind can help you interact with your customers and vendors. Accessing rate histories. So I remember a customer saying to me once that he needed a quick way to find a rate that he had previously given to one of his customers on a load that he had done two years prior so that he could determine what he should be quoting today. So we went to work and developed rate histories to do just that. Rate histories are incredibly valuable in the day-to-day -day running of a transportation company. You need to get rates to your customers quickly, especially as your competition is just one phone call away. How can you negotiate a rate to pay your carrier without knowing your rate history or what you've paid in the past? You need access, you need access to historical data showing what you have charged in the past or what rate you have negotiated with carriers for a specific lane. Yes, accessing historical data is extremely important in the daily workflow. Let me take you through the Tailwind Rate Histories feature. Uh, we'll get out of those pay statements. We'll get back over here. So on each individual customer and vendor, we give you access to rate histories. I'm going into my customer building supply company, and here every customer has a rate history button. And when clicked, will display every load you've ever done for this customer. So it becomes really easy to find historical data. Maybe this customer said to me, you know, quite a while ago, you moved a load for me out of Seattle and delivered it into Riverside, California. I can put that filtering criteria in, whether it's by city, by state, whatever it might be. I can say go, and the software goes to work for me. It returns only those loads that picked up in Seattle, delivered to Riverside, showing me the rate I charged, giving me the ability to quickly and easily talk to my customer and offer them the professional rate that I need to. As well, maybe the customer says right then in the phone call, go ahead, do that job for me again next two weeks from now, whatever that might be. You can open your orders, historical orders, and copy them out to a new order. Lots of data saving time there. On our vendor records, same thing. Any company that you work with, let's go to my company, Zippy Transport. I give lots of loads to Zippy Transport in my demo database. And again, they all come with their own rate history button, which will return every load I've ever given to Zippy with the details of pickup and deliveries, dates, and the amount I paid Zippy to move that load. Letting me filter it by specific lanes if I want rate negotiations with Zippy. While we give them to you on the individual customer and vendor records, 
we also give you under our tools menu an all encompassing customer rate history and vendor rate history. So here in the customer rate history, this is going to return every load I've ever done for every customer. Truly, I don't want to flip through this entire list. I want to filter it. So if a customer happens to call me and say, would you be interested in a load out of Des Moines and delivers into Seattle? I can filter that criteria. Let the software tell me I have done this load before and for which company I've done it and the rate. Again, nice, easy access to your historical data so you appear so professional to your customers. While there's the customer rate history, there's also a vendor rate history, a great rate negotiation tool for your carriers, punching in lanes or even just an origin city and returning the details of past loads you've issued to your carriers can be so beneficial for you. So the summary is, it's not only important that you be able to communicate and negotiate on rates quickly and efficiently, it is also important to be able to provide some, provide some consistency and rationale for your decisions. Otherwise, you might come across as being a bit unprofessional and perhaps predatory if you were way off on your quotes. You need rate histories to protect both your personal and company brand. Trad, do you have a better poll question for us this time? Well, I thought the last one was quite good, but yes, we do have another poll <laughs> question for folks, um, and I'm launching it right now. So this time, we want to find out how our audience members currently find their rate histories. Do you have to dig through paper, search through Excel files? Do you already use Tailwind rate history functionality? Do you use something else? Or are your histories exactly that? History. <laughs> Oh, we got a, a bit of an even split and, and oh, even more, even. Um, interesting though, people all do it a little bit differently. Just give a couple more seconds for people to make their votes. And one. Two, three. All right, we'll share the results here with folks. So, like I said it's uh, quite a few who said other. You know, not too many went into saying that their histories are indeed history. So that that is good <laughs> that they are finding ways to be uh, accessing them. Um, otherwise, yeah, it looks like paper, searching through Excel files, pretty popular. And lo and behold, we do have quite a few using the Tailwind rate history functionality as well. So that is great. How great is that? Right, hand things, that? And hand things back over to Linda. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. While being able to speak with your customers and vendors and provide rates quickly and easily, it is, oh, Brad, are we on the right screen? Sorry, everyone. I'll just carry on. Brad will catch up with us. While being able to speak with your customers and vendors and provide, quick, provide rates quickly and easily is important, communicating with drivers is another key day-to-day -day task. I'm pausing, Brad, to let you catch up. <laughs> Tailwind offers many driver and carrier communication tools. You can email trip manifests with specific instructions and load confirmations with details on exactly how you want them to perform a job for you. <laughs> They say the devil is in the there. details. <laughs> Thanks, Brad. I can just show them in my screen if that's going to be easier for you. I think I think we're up now. Okay. We're just seeing a communication screen, Brad. Perfect. Okay. Great. They say the devil is in the details, but I like to say the opportunity is in the details. The opportunity to differentiate yourself and your business in the way you accommodate the specific and sometimes unique needs of your customers. 
Tailwind allows you to text your driver or carrier and keep track of those communications right from the Tailwind application. No more flipping between cell phone and computer. It's all in one place. We call this feature Earl, Tailwind Earl, because it connects you and or your dispatchers directly to the driver. All they need is a phone that can accept text messages. I have to say this is, oh, sorry, I missed a line here. <laughs> I want to talk to you, now that we know about the SMS ability, I want to talk to you about our POD Complete app. I have to say that this is one of the most unique features of Tailwind. We include a free phone app tethered to the online software application. The app is downloadable from Google Play for your Android phone and will soon also be available for iPhones via iTunes. Tailwind POD Complete was developed after listening to our customers and hearing about the challenges they were having in getting their proofs of delivery. It was laborious, and in cases where they were using something like Transflow and couriers to get those PODs back to the office, it was expensive. Not to mention the risk and bother associated with late or lost PODs. One of our clients estimated that for their 20 truck operation, all of these factors, plus the interest cost to finance customers between the de time of delivery and payment is received, they end up saving $1,800 per month using POD Complete. That's over $20,000 a year. I think the benefit is quite clear, and it's simple. Your driver downloads the app on their phone, and we even have a video you can send to your drivers to help with this. Through the app, you can send all trip details directly to your driver. They can view these details, and even mark the arrived and departed flags on the individual dispatch that they are on. This cuts down on phone calls to your dispatch department and also allows for easy communication between your driver and your dispatch team. It greatly reduces the activity of what we like to call the check call rodeo. And best of all, the driver takes a picture of the signed proof of delivery, which will upload automatically and seamlessly into your software, attaching itself to the order in question. No need to take a picture, send an email, open the email, save the POD, and enter it into your system, or try finding it where it's stored somewhere on your hard drive. It's all right there in your Tailwind application, on the actual order, ready to be sent with your invoice. No more waiting on Transflow or costly couriers to bring in your proofs of delivery. The driver has the ability to send you the POD immediately upon delivery. So now you can invoice in real time. What a great hit of adrenaline to your cash flow. You may even be able to save on the cost and bother of your factoring efforts and get back that 2 to 6% that can enhance your margins. And now we have one last poll question. Brad? Thanks a lot, Linda. For our final poll question, we want to find out how our audience members are currently getting their PODs from the drivers. Uh, are they getting them by a courier? Are they being driven back to the office? Do they get faxed in from truck stops? Or maybe they're already using some POD, POD capture capabilities on their phone. Or maybe there's another way PODs are getting sent back, maybe a homing pigeon. <laughs> I do hear that the homing pigeons are becoming increasingly uh, popular in the new trucks that are coming out too, so. <laughs> Let's see, we have, uh, well, most folks have voted. Let's give a couple more seconds. All right, let's share some results there. So quite a few of, uh, have the drivers driving the PODs back to HQ. Um, some faxing, some other are actually doing POD capture on their phones, which is great. Nice. Twelve percent are relying on the on the couriers, and and we do have thirty five percent others. So that that is interesting to really interesting to dig into where where those uh, how those PODs are getting back. Yeah. Thanks everyone. And, and that and driving. Back. Oh, sorry. thanks, Brad. And that no problem. Driving back to headquarters. I mean, wow. Will that ever save time if you use the POD complete app? Great. Uh, this brings us to our fifth and final blow your mind feature of Tailwind, multi-tabbed functionality. 
This is perhaps one of the biggest undiscovered benefits of working with a true web-based application. While many people understand the benefits of having multiple tabs open when using the internet, they have come to accept the limitations of client-server-based TMSs, where you can't open multiple tabs and access more information. When I show customers this capability, I get some real wows and some occasional chuckles because they realize they have been locked in some habits that they got into with their existing software. We all know that transportation is just not a one page at a time kind of a job. If you work on the front lines in any transportation office, you know that multitasking is a skill you simply need to have. This is where your web-based software, your browser-based software can uniquely help. You need to access different pieces of information related to an order or a dispatch and an invoice. Gone are the days of window-based software where you had to open multiple windows and maximize and minimize them. Now you can do it all in your browser. Our software will allow you to open any list of an individual record with a right mouse function. Brad's going to turn the controls back over to me and I'm going to show you just how that works. I will indeed. Thank you. Okay, so we can see here on my browser that I can certainly access my order list if I want to. I can also access my dispatch list, but flipping back and forth between them can take a little bit of time. Time is valuable. So you can have your dispatch list displayed here with a right mouse click. You can open your order list on another tab. Easier to navigate between the actual list. But it doesn't stop there. Maybe I have a customer on the line talking to me about this order. I can open the order and see all of the details on one page, enabling me to speak to this customer about this order. As well, let's go back to my dispatch list here. There it is right there. I can also open individual dispatches. Maybe Georgia Green calls me and I interrupt the customer to take the call put the customer on hold for a moment, I now have my dispatch on one screen. So it's just much easier to simply navigate between the multi-tab browsing capability. Uh, and back to you. Oh, wait, no, Brad's going to take back the screen. I'm still going to talk to you. Sorry. So we have seen a lot of great features in this software today. I know I'm biased. But I have worked in this industry, and I like to think that in working with you folks and working for Tailwind, that I have been an internal advocate for software that better meets the needs of our industry, specifically auto payables. We have seen how auto payables can be set up to eliminate all those Excel spreadsheets and all that time making them. Pay wizards and how pay wizards can make paying your drivers and vendors much faster. Rate histories. So accessing rate histories can help you quote more quickly, effectively, and improve your professionalism. SMS and POD complete, how you better communicate with carriers and drivers, as well as improve your cash flow with an innovative and free phone app. Multi-tab fun functionality. Finally, how a web-based system based on tabs can help you access more information more quickly. Now, I wish I could show you more because we do have more. But Brad, our marketing guy, limited me to five for this session today. Thanks so much, Brad, and back over to you. Thanks a lot, Linda. Um, I hope you all got some useful tips and insights for your business today. And if you'd like a full demo of the software, please do feel free to reach out to us. And we'll be happy to register for your you for any one of our bi-weekly demos where Linda can show you all that Tailwind has to offer. And you don't just have to take our word for it. You can also visit our website, tailwindtms.com, and sign up for a free 30-day trial to see how Tailwind can work for your business. Now, there have been some questions coming in, so we'll just get, uh, get started with those. Um, so one is, <laughs> somebody that's, um, I've been looking at your software, want to know if all the features you have shown today are included uh, in one price that you quote on your website? Great question. And yes, the answer is short, a yes. Everything I've shown you today plus so much more comes for our one price, one subscription price to you. Got another question for me, Brad? 
Yeah. Um, somebody saying that it looks like it could be a bit confusing in there. Um, what? what how, how can we, how should do they get help if they get a little bit confused? Oh, what a great question, and truly, do you want to bring the screen back to me, please, Brad? Sure. Truly, what I feel is probably what sets us apart from our competition, our support. We have people that just, that's what they want to do. They live to help you. You can access all sorts of support articles and documents right from within the application. All of our learning documents will help you do anything you need to do in the software. As well, we have an in-house chat that allows you to start a conversation with anyone in support, ask a question, and get an answer back to you within minutes. We provide lots of training solutions to you and your staff. I have another question, looks like, regarding the SMS. Uh, is there a way to see who sent the message to a driver? So I guess that there's multiple, um, Absolutely. That there are multiple dispatchers. There sure is. This is our, oh, sorry, that's our bell. That's not it. This is our SMS. Clicking on it will allow you to see. So if I have a conversation going on with Georgia, I can click on that conversation with Georgia, see the history of it. Or if I'm having a conversation with myself, <laughs> which really doesn't happen, anyone you're having SMS conversations with will be right here. You can join them in again. Here is a complete list of all personnel that you've set up, allowing you to start a conversation with anyone at all. Back to you, Brad. If, if, yeah, if there is a driver who doesn't send in their POD uh, through the app, does it show on the schedule that the document hasn't been sent yet? Well, not so much a schedule, but we do have a solution for you. Here on the administration side, in this bill posting screen, once you've completed a dispatch, shown it as delivered, that allows the software to pick up the related expenses and move them over here to the admin side. Because this trip in particular for Georgia Green is sitting on my bill posting screen, I know I have not received the proof of delivery or George's trip envelope in yet. So this is the screen that your admin people work when receiving those trip envelopes in from your drivers or invoices from your outside carriers. So yes, while there's certainly not a pop-up for you or a schedule for you, this screen will show you everything that is awaiting proofs of delivery. Um, and it looks like there's another follow-up question to that, will all the dispatch team be able to see the conversations? Oh, absolutely. Simply by accessing the SMS. Yeah. Now, that's an um, interesting question, Brad. Hang on a minute. I need, hmm. I'm going to have to write that down. I'm going to check with the dev team, and I will make sure that Brad sends a message out to you. I'm not 100% sure whether this is just my conversations with Georgia or if it's all conversations with Georgia. But I'm going to find that answer out for you folks, and I'll make sure an email comes out to you and lets you know that. Excellent. Uh, it looks like there's quite a bit of interest regarding the, um, the phone communication. Somebody's asking, uh, will POD Complete be available for the iPhone, or is it available for the iPhone? And I can quickly answer that one just because I, I have been working with our uh, development team here. Uh, we will have the iPhone app ready probably within the next um, month or so. Um, so it is available currently for Android devices and will be available soon for iPhones. Um, moving on, another question here. Uh, will the pay wizards allow me to upload the pay amount into my banking so I can send payment to my owner ops by ACH? Oh, what a great question and what great feedback for future development for us. Presently at this time, no, but our software has an open API. So anything, if the data is in the software, it can be extracted and put out to another program. However, how I see most of our customers doing it is they simply pick up that pay wizard, let the software, let our software generate the net amount, and then they manually plug it into their payroll module or their QuickBooks payroll, whatever, however you use it, or right into your banking to upload it as ACH. It won't go seamlessly, but that's great feedback that I'll give to our dev team. 
Um, another follow-up question regarding POD complete. Um, will it have the names of who sent the message? So I, I'm guessing that that's, will it have the name of the dispatcher that sent the message to the truck? Yes, it will because every dispatch has the ability to have a dispatcher assigned to it. And just like when you print a trip manifest, let me go and send out a trip manifest here quickly for you. So sending this out by POD is sending these, by the POD complete app, is sending these details out to your driver on his phone. So the dispatcher on record will be listed on that POD complete app, yes. Excellent. Um, further on to the POD complete, it's definitely an area where people are interested. Um, can we see how PODs sent in from the phone app get to the TMS? Oh, uh, sure. That's interesting. Uh, let me, yes. Or I guess how, how it looks in the, in the TMS. Absolutely. My order number 141, I have had a POD attached to that. So I'm using our quick open order button to open up my order 141. It's a past order. I know I've got a proof of delivery that's been uploaded to it. So if I scroll down here to the notes, I can see that it's a POD attachment. I can open the attachment at any time, view the proof of delivery if I want to, but anything that is attached through that POD complete or through simply creating a note and attaching a proof of delivery will allow that POD to be sent along to your customers seamlessly when you send them their invoice. Another uh, question regarding SMS. Um, so we got SMS messaging. Uh, will it have the name of who sent the message? Oh, well, it shows uh, just like a text message. If you're set up as a contact, on on your driver's phone yeah it will show as a text message from you if you're not set up as a contact and it simply shows the phone number that the text message is coming from so the uh, sms the your actual phone application takes over all the, the the various view and yeah you'll always see who it's from whether it's the phone number or a name um, and then we have, uh, further to that, we have 12 dispatchers and we need to be able to see all conversations to each driver and know automatically who sent that to the driver. So that, and that's, that, that's where we're going to have to get back to them by email, Brad. So if you can make sure you make note of that name for me, yeah. I have to check. That's something I've never been asked nor never looked into. So I have to check to see if all dispatchers can see all SMS messages sent by all dispatchers. I'm going to research that for you and get back to you as soon as I can. Um, excellent. And, and SMS and field, the field you complete app are definitely the, uh, the key <laughs> questions we'll have. Um, can I still send SMS messages with iPhones even if the POD uh, complete app is still a month away for iOS? Yes. Yes, you can. I personally have an iPhone, so I've not, I'm not able to demo the POD Complete app yet. But yes, I can send myself text messages directly out of the software. So text messaging or SMS, Tailwind Earl, will work with Android and iPhone at this time. And as Brad mentioned, POD Complete should be about a month away for iPhone. If you print your invoices to mail, will it print the POD as well? Yes, it will. It will include this POD. It will give you an invoice. Should I display that? Let's go ahead. Print the invoice. So it, I'm printing it on the screen and it includes both the POD again and the invoice. Of course, your logo, your company information is here. Okay. And um, if you email it, sorry, Brad, if you email it, it also includes the POD. I, I just, I'm not too sure if I got this one quite correct. So, so Larry, if I'm not getting it quite right, then please, uh, if you could restate your question, that would be great. But it's, if you enter an expense, can you divide it with a cost to each dispatch? So I'm imagining uh -huh. if you have an expense that can be for multiple dispatches, can it be divided up? 
See, Larry, that's where Brad wouldn't let me show you guys more. Yes, we have a brand new feature. <laughs> I'm on an order. Let me let me get to an order for you. We have a brand new feature that when you have multiple dispatches moving one order, you have the ability to do some revenue allocation. So while I don't have this load moving on multiple dispatches and can't display, let me try explaining it to you. Revenue allocation is the ability for you to take $3,750 worth of revenue and apply it to specific dispatches. So if I had a town truck go and load this load and bring it to my yard, I can break out $250 worth of revenue to be allotted to the town truck. Then I can take the remaining $3,500 and allot it to the highway truck. Yep, brand new feature for us, revenue allocation. Thanks, Larry, for that question. Um, are there any charges for sending PODs? So if I have 25 drivers using the app, are there additional charges per driver or is it included in the monthly fee for accessing the software? It's all included. Everything I'm showing you today is included in the monthly subscription price of our software. Uh, excellent. And let's, we're, I think we're, well, we're, we're definitely pushing our time here. So we'll try to just get a couple more questions in. Um, and then if there are additional ones, please, again, you can just send us an email and we can respond to those. Um, I hear you have customer portals. What, what do those do? Oh, and I was supposed to have those showing, wasn't I? Let me quickly get them showing for us here. Yeah, customer portals and carrier portals are so great. Um, Oh man, that's my bad. I was supposed to have them populated here in case we had that question. So let me quickly get it. Uh, there we go. Okay, <laughs> now that I've got it showing here. So a customer portal is the ability for you to give your customer a unique username and password. It allows them to log into your portal, your website, and only see their information. So I'm logged in as my customer building supply company. I get to not only see quotes that I might have on board, I can request a quote from my carrier. I can see any shipments as building supply company. I can see any shipments that I have moving with my trucking company. I can open individual orders if I've attached proofs of delivery for my customer, my customer has the ability to open it and view that proof of delivery if needed. As well, let's go back to that uh, customer portal. There we go. Your customer, while they get to track their shipments, they also get to place orders and they get to see an AR aging of any invoices they owe you, as well as a transaction history. Boy, I'd like to show you lots more about our customer and carrier portals, but again, our time is limited here today. And, and we actually did do another webinar all on that. So uh, within our webinar section on our website, you can access that information. So and I can even send a link after this to, to the person asked that question. Thank you. Um, I think we'll, we'll do one more and then we'll probably wrap things up. Uh, when an invoice is paid, where do we go to input that it was paid? Also, if they paid less than the invoice, how does that look? Oh, great question. So under our tools, we have the ability to receive payments from your customers. Um, let me think about one that I've got. Let me quickly run up here into receivables and just find a bill that's outstanding for someone. Uh, Cedar Tree Growers owes me $26.25. Let's assume I'm receiving a payment in for $2,500. So here under my tools, I can come to my incoming payment wizard, choosing my customer, Cedar Tree Growers, throwing in their check number, whatever that might be, and the amount that I am receiving against the payment. When I ask the software, Oh dear, I guess I've paid that. Let's choose the, another customer. I know I've got stuff outstanding for building supply, so let's change this to a thousand. There we go. So I have some outstanding amounts for building supply company. So let's say building supply is paying me a thousand dollars on this invoice. I can mark it and I can show that I'm only receiving $1,000, leaving $200 remaining outstanding. And now I've got some choices. 
I can leave it outstanding if I'm going after the customer for the remaining payment, or I can write it off. I can write it off against any charge type I need to use. If it was a tarp charge that I never did, and I want to credit my tarp charges, I can do that. If it's a factor fee that I have to account for, I don't have a factor fee created, so I can't show that. But as long as you've got the expense item created, you can write that amount off to anything at all, bad debt, anything at all. So you can account for short payments easily in the software using our tool, the Incoming Payment Wizard. All right. We, I, I, there's one more question that just snuck in, so we'll, we'll give that to that one, and then we'll, uh, I think, move on. Um, if I sure. want my team to learn more, uh, do you provide other online demos uh, during during the week? I'd like to invite some of my staff. Uh, if this is offered, is there a fee for that? No, <laughs> no fees. Uh, yes, you can set up a one-on-one -on -one demo. I give two scheduled demos a week. On Monday, I'm going to change the time here going forward. Mondays is going to be at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Fridays is at 10 a.m. Pacific time. But yes, of course, you can set up a one-on-one -on -one demo where you can have an entire group of your staff attend a demo with me. Simply reach out to me. You see my email there on the screen right now. AskLinda at TailwindSys.com. Reach out to me and I will send you my availability allowing you to choose the time that works best for you. I'll then send you a go-to-meeting invitation allowing you to come into my computer view my screen where I can give you a complete walkthrough of the Tailwind software. All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone. I know we went a little bit over time today. Um, we will be sending out the recording. So if you do have kind of questions or things that you might have missed there, there'll be that. And again, you can always send an email, give us a call, or if you are in the Tailwind application, just even start a chat. And with that, thanks again and have a great rest of your day.